Hello, and welcome back. I'll be demonstrating the solid color blowout technique here on the Matt Yasa channel. In the last episode, I was glass blowing Jolly Ranchers. I was using the solid color blowout technique. I wanted to demonstrate that again today, but in solid glass. I'm starting out by thickening up the end of this blow tube and giving it a slight flare. It's gonna take a lot of extra heat to blow out this borosilicate, so I don't wanna thin out that connection area. The name of this color is Ketchup from Glass Alchemy. It's a cadmium red. Being a cadmium color, it's a little extra sensitive, so I'm working it a little farther out in the flame to keep it from boiling. It's also an opaque color, meaning non-transparent. And even though the name of the technique is the solid color blowout, that's not referring to the opacity of the glass, but more about turning a solid glob of glass into a hollow section. And now it might be a little bit easier to blow out transparent colors. They react a little bit more like clear in the flame and you can see through them so you know how thick the walls are. And so I have to put a lot of base heat into the glass, a lot of core heat, and then blow into it pretty quickly. Normally when I'm working on tubing or something already hollow, I'll wait a few seconds for the heat to radiate and balance through before I puff into it. But with these thick gathers, I puff into it almost immediately to get it started. And here it almost looks like it's changed to brown, but that's the cadmium still glowing from the inside. It'll change back to red once it cools down. And now that steam coming off the jacks, that's from the beeswax. Applying natural beeswax to your tools can help them from sticking. And so here is Mystique, a pastel blue from Glass Alchemy. I haven't used this one before, so I'm giving it a test run today. A lot of times the color manufacturers will test out new formulas to see what works and discontinue the ones that don't. And so what I'm doing here is called gathering. I'm gathering the mystique onto my blow tube. So to figure out which colors are gonna work for you, a good way would be the sample packs. Some of the companies do offer a variety sample of their glass. I recommend the 4.5 pound pack from Troutman Art Glass. It's $150, but that's pretty good for 4.5 pounds of first quality glass. It is mostly a lot of transparent colors. If you're looking for opaque colors, I do recommend Glass Alchemy. Their sample pack is right now for $80 and it consists of shorter rods. I don't know how much it weighs, but sometimes it's not always about the weight, but what's in the glass itself. Reactive colors may contain a bit more precious metals like silver, so they're a bit more expensive than something like blue cobalt. This cadmium orange color, also from Glass Alchemy, is called OJ. Being a cadmium, I'm working it a little farther out in the flame and I'm focusing the heat kind of in between the gather and the rod. The rod is where the new glass comes from that makes the gather larger. And so I wanna make sure I focus on it also and not just the gather. So I have a lot of heat here, a lot of core heat, and I'm rotating at the same time as I'm puffing into it. That way it doesn't slump from gravity. And now that it's hollow, I'll give it a little bit of extra time to radiate and balance out before I give it its final puff. And here's one of my personal favorites, Acid Yellow from Glass Alchemy. It's a very bright and vibrant yellow. 
And one of my other favorites would be Orange Crayon. It's in the pendant I'm wearing right now. They ended up replacing it with OJ. I don't know if it's as vibrant as Orange Crayon, but it's still a very high quality glass. It's good to do a little bit of research on your colors before you use them to see if they're heat sensitive like these cadmiums or if they're flame sensitive like the silver strikers. A neutral flame is usually the best default, but you can check my flame adjustment video to find out how to adjust for what you need. And this is the biggest gather so far in the video. I'm having a little bit of trouble blowing it out. I'll have to puff out the back section a little bit and work my way forward. My camera cut out on me there, so I'm kind of jumping ahead here. And so you might have noticed the process is very similar to the Jolly Ranchers, but I am working a lot more on the flame at a much higher temperature. So it's a little bit easier to puff into now since the walls have been thinned out. And it looks almost like it's changed to a red orange color, but that's just the cadmium still glowing. It'll go back to its bright yellow once it cools down. And now here is Dwarf White, a semi-opaque color from Troutman Art Glass. It is transparent, but when gathered up thick enough, it can definitely look opaque. That's kind of one of the properties of the transparent colors. As you apply them in thicker applications, they tend to look darker. A dense cobalt blue, for example, is often used as a substitute for black. In a thicker application, it begins to block almost all the light and becomes very dark. But now I'm going in with some black here for a smaller gather. I'm going to stick to a neutral flame here. I don't want too much reduction or too much of a reducing flame as that may cause the black to turn gray. Also, black tends to shine the brightest out of all the colors, so it's good to wear a darker UV shade, like a shade five or higher. But it can also be a good one to practice with. Since it shines very readily, it's easier to gauge the temperature as you're working with it. And so if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit that like button. If you have a question or a suggestion on something you want to see, leave it down in the comment section. And lastly, if you could share it to your friends and share it on Facebook, that will definitely help grow the channel. I'm always trying to improve the channel, the video, the audio, the projects I bring to you. And so if you could take a couple minutes to throw out that love, I really appreciate it. So it looks like I've got a nice solid black here, an eight ball black. And so something interesting about this black globe, since I haven't been using the kiln for any of these, I've been able to take some early pictures. I had it outside in the hot sun along with the white globe. And there was a pretty amazing temperature difference between the two. The black globe was up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, while the white one was only 80. And so it'd be interesting to use black glass in a solar experiment to collect heat. But this green color here is called slime from Troutman Art Glass. It's a very interesting color. If you heat it up hot enough, you can burn off that opaque outside cloudiness and make it transparent. You can check out my coil pot video for a good example of what transparent slime looks like. And I blew it out and shaped it a little bit more than this, but I didn't get that on camera. So let's go ahead and move to the amber purple. This is that silver striker I was talking about, double Mai Tai. I'll be working it here in a mostly neutral flame. And then once I have it done and all blown out, I'll go back in with a very reducing flame and give it a splash of purple. 
This will be one of the smaller ones too. I'm gonna give it a quick puff and it'll be finished. And here it is before I strike it in that reducing flame. It's kind of a yellowish brown color. And so I'll turn the propane up pretty high and the oxygen down a little bit. This will make a very dirty flame, very carbon rich. It actually put some soot on the glass. So I'm gonna go back in with a neutral flame and burn that off. And bam, we have a very solid purple. That's from the silver reacting to the carbon in the flame. And here they are. They're looking pretty neat. They're still on the blow tubes. It's kind of a preparation step. So they're ready to be made into something else. A jar or a cup, something that might need a sphere, or you can pop out the end and pull it out into a tube. But now we've reached the end of the video. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you on the next one coming up next Friday. And so as always, stay melty.